Hello everyone and welcome back to Just Finish Coding. This is part 2 of our Crossy Road series which we're making on Python. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Just finished coding. Now I have to interject here that if you've not watched part 1, please watch it before you come here because as you can see, I'm picking up from where I left off and for this video to make sense, you need to watch the previous one. I will leave a card for you right here. Please watch the video and then come right back. If you're still here, I'm going to assume that you've watched part one, in which case let's continue with our code. So now you can scroll down to your movement method in your cat sprite and here I'm going to make a small addition when the left arrow and the right arrow keys are pressed. And I'm going to make use of the two images which I have. And when the left arrow key is pressed, I will switch to cat2. And when the right arrow key is pressed, I will switch the image to cat1. Now I'm going to make a new method and I'm going to call this correction. And what this method is going to do is it's going to make sure that the cat is always within the screen. And to implement this, we first have an if condition. And now you have to remember that self.x is the center of the sprite's image. So to the sprite's left, we would have half of the width. And to the sprite's right, once again, we would have half of the width. So if we check if um, self.x minus self.width by 2 is um, less than 0, then it's automatically going to mean that if that condition is true, of course, that the cat is out of the screen on the left side. If that is the case, we can just fix the x to be the self dot width divided by 2. And we can also do a similar thing when the cat moves out of the edge in the right, because we'll just have to invert this logic with regard to the width instead of 0. So now we can do the same thing for the y axis as well. And it would just apply to y, uh, self dot y and the height instead of self dot x and the width. So once you're done with all of this, you can head back into the update method. And now you can just call the um, correction method within this. And when you run your code, you should see that the cat is well within the boundaries and he no longer moves out of the screen. So that will be all we need to do with the cat class for a while. And now I'm going to get into the next class, which is the car class. And um, we'll be having um, the inheritance from as usual, the sprite class. And after we've inited um, both the um, super class and the subclass, we can also add in one more argument to the def init method and that is a variable called number. So if the number is one, then it's going to be corresponding to the sloka. So I'll be setting the x to be about 190. I will set the image obviously to be the slow car and I will also set up the velocity to be negative four. The reason I have it to be negative four and not four is because I want the um, car to go with um, uh, I want each of the cars to begin by going in a different direction and this is going to help us do that. If the number is 2 which is going to be within the else statement then what I will do is I will set the x to be 460, I will set the image to be the fast car and um, I will also set the velocity to be 5 and just like I said they're going to be going in opposite directions. So once you're done with that you can set self.y to be height by 2 so that both the cars start off at the middle of the screen. I'll also be setting the width and height to be 100 and 150 respectively. And then I will resize the image. Um, once you're done with all of this, the last thing within the init method that we need to do is to get a rectangle so that we can move the image around. And we can do this by simply using the getRect function. So now we can get into the sprites update method. And within this method, I'm as of now just going to type in self.rec.center is equal to self.x uh, and self.y. Um, but I will add in another method. So I'll say def movement. And within this, I'll be doing something very similar um, to what I did in the cat's correction. And that is making sure that when the sprite, you know, gets over the edges or the top boundaries of the screen, um, then we basically reverse its velocity so that um, the, the cars go back down or up, whichever, um, the opposite of whichever side they hit. And uh, basically in either of those two conditions, we just have to change the velocity by negative one, since it's the velocity that is always determining what direction we're going in. So after you have all of this set up, you can just call in self.movement within the update method. 
and this is going to be all the updates we need for the car sprite. So now you can scroll down and you can create an object for the slow car and the fast car and also create a sprite group to hold both of them in place. Once you're done with all of this, you can get into the main um, loop and here you can call in the groups draw and update methods and this is going to ensure that your program works. So when you hit the green on uh, when you hit the run key, you will see that well we can move our cat and the cars also move exactly the way we wanted them to. And I'm going to end this video here. In the next video, we'll get into changing the background and also getting the flags in place. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.